Hi everyone. Thanks for dropping by my workbench this evening. Today I have Anthony's Breckwell brand pellet stove controller. As you can see, this is one of the early models. It has uh, just a low BC high switch positions and uh, some old school manual switches on them. But it's a fully functional unit. Anthony sent me this one because he was having problems with his stove and he was indicating that the controller had zero functionality. So I asked him to jump around the exhaust fan switch and he did that and still nothing. So he sent me the controller and uh, I put it on my workbench and honestly Anthony I did not find anything wrong with your controller. It seems to be functioning quite normally here. So now that I have seen your controller that I've tested it and I know what it can or cannot do I am confident that once I return it to you we'll be able to work together and resolve your problem. So with that said, I'll go ahead and turn on the controller here. I have it on my tester. My tester has four lights. Uh, three of them are important. One of them, one of them is a combustion fan in blue. One is the auger in yellow, and one is a room or convection fan in red. Uh, that's the things that this controller can handle. It can turn those motors on and off. So I've got my tester on. I'll go ahead and apply power to the controller and as I do that we can see that the convection fan is low or it's on in, in low mode because it's, the lights kind of dim and the combustion fan is on I can in, on, in manual mode I can also go to high speed and we'll see this go bright but this will go a little dimmer so there we go we, we see that, that in action the, the kind of change state and that's the feature of this controller the other thing I can do, I'll go back to normal here, uh, as I can test out the manual feed. So if I uh, move that to manual feed position, the auger will come on for as long as I hold the switch. So there you are, those features are working. I can also go from low B, C, high, and that will cause that uh, convection room fan to get brighter and brighter and brighter or dimmer, dimmer, dimmer as I turn it down. So all of that is functioning correctly. So uh, I have high level of confidence that, that that's working. The next thing I'll check is automatic mode. I go into automatic mode by pressing the little auger button that's uh, right in the center at the top there. And when I do that, we should see the green light come on above it. That'll tell us that the controller is in automatic mode. The other thing that may or may not happen because this is an older controller, is the auger motor might come on. So we'll see the yellow indicated light come on. There's also a green LED behind the faceplate here. That will come on whenever the yellow light comes on. So let's go ahead and press that. And we see both come on. All three lights are on. We see the auger light, we see the automatic light, and we see the auger motor running. And it just went off. So I'm in low mode right now, and the first cycle is a really long one. So it'll be off for for. 15, 20 seconds, and then it'll start cycling on its own. And I am in low mode, so I'll leave it that way to see a couple cycles go through. And after that, I'll switch to a higher speed where we'll see the differences in the auger duty cycle. So it should come on here anytime real quick. And let's see what happens. But it's not on for very long. So we see the auger light, auger running. So you saw it wasn't on very long, but the off duration is longer. One more cycle and then uh, we'll go to high speed. Well, we'll actually go to C. The reason I'm going to go to C is because that will cause the auger motor to cycle. If I were to go to high, the auger motor stays on all the time. So that's driving way more pellets into the fire pit and causing it to run hotter. So let me go to C, B, C. We saw that the room fan was running a little longer. Now we'll see that when the um, auger comes on, it'll come on for a longer duration. So the duty cycle, duty cycle will be a bit longer. So notice it's on now with a longer duty cycle. So that would drive more pellets into the fire pit, causing the, pellet, the fire to uh, roar a little, little warmer. And it will shut itself off here. There we go. And if I leave it on, the off time will not be very long. There it is. One final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to high mode and when I do that, you'll notice that the auger just runs constantly. It does not shut off. So once you turn yourself off, so I'll go to high. I am now in high. Next time it cycles on, it will not shut off. There we go. So now we're in high, and I can leave it like this for a long, long time, and the motor will continue to run. 
So that is probably going to feed the maximum amount of pellets into the fire pit, causing the fire to roar to maximum. And you'll be heating things up as much as possible with that stove. So there we have it, Anthony. Uh, every one of the functions of your stove has been tested. Your stove controller has been tested. Everything is functioning correctly. Like I said earlier, we will speak over the phone. Uh, we will resolve your problem. Now that I know that this is working, I have a much better idea of where to go look in your stove and where to guide you to go look in your stove. In the meantime, I want to thank you for sending me your controller for repairs. I appreciate it very much. Uh, for any one of you viewers out there, if you have a pellet stove controller of this brand or others that uh, you need repairs on, feel free to contact me. Uh, I'd be more than happy to speak with you about it and see what we can do to help you out. And in the meantime, I do hope that if you're viewing this video, you will subscribe to my channel and you will give it a big thumb, give this video a thumbs up. That always helps. So that's about it. Um, it's been about a minute or so and we see that the auger light is still on. The auger is still running. Everything is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and shut things down, turn off the controller and turn off the pellet stove tester and say goodbye to everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.